It's about 11.30, almost 11.25, the night before the race. I really need to go to bed, but I feel like this can always happen. But, um, but it took me forever to pack. And so here is... tomorrow morning my drop bags my bag I'm gonna give my dad and then this cooler full of coconut water and then these will have um, soup in them tomorrow and then this is also an extra bag I think most all of you, if not all of you, were here last night. Um, so you got most all the stuff. Um, one, you're gonna warm up quick. Just make sure when you get up to the top, um, it will be a ridge line. So you might be a little chilly. So don't start taking stuff off until you really get a good feel for it. You'll be back here in three and a half miles. Um, I've already had a scout out on the trail. Um, when it's out, it may freeze. Make sure you don't leave it down too long. Otherwise, it's gonna be just frozen after a little bit back up. Um, same thing. So you take drinks out there. It may freeze. So make sure you wipe away the moisture from the you don't freeze your lips and stuff like that. Hey, you dropped your bag. Hey. Oh, sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we got 10 seconds. We'll get started. We'll go one at a time. And four, three. Come on, Tyra. <laughs> Alright, we're in five, four, three, two, one, go! Here they go! Somebody's standing right in the way. One, two. Alright, that looks like less than 24 people. And then they'll be back here in an hour or so. Maybe a little less. This course is being run in the reverse of last year. The word is, is that makes it more difficult. Daniel finished uh, just under 24 hours last year. He'd like to do better this year. I think it's about 16 degrees outside. Comments were with the wind chill, uh, people were saying it's supposed to be like negative seven. And of course, this valley always stays colder than the surrounding temperatures. Place where he's going to show up next morning, 16. We're here at the start this morning. There's a bathroom facility in here. First, uh, really looked good. So he's run without his water because uh, he said, oh, it's just four miles and it had frozen anyway. So he's, uh, when he comes back, everything will be defrosted. Um, mile 32 almost, so, but really less than that. But the, the cold weather is bad. How about wind? Wind has been, I, it depends on where you are in the in the course. I don't see any ice on you this time. I got a little bit in my hair, but. A little, a little bit, earlier today it was kind of caked on. Yes, yeah, yeah it caked on, and my uh, jacket is at the other aid station because it was frozen solid. The whole jacket oh, yeah. uh, froze just right now. I'm not, not worried about it. You look a lot better than you did down in Memphis. Yes, feel a lot better. Eat, I've already probably eaten more food than I did that entire run. So with soup is working out great. Sarah made the soup for me. So my biggest problem is probably dealing with my hydration thing, freezing. But. 30 get runners go down to 16. The place isn't too crowded. No, exactly. Yeah. All right, here I am, almost to mile 50. The snow is coming, um, and yeah, the headlamp is on. Like, I think we just had, I think, we're, I think I'm in, we're in fourth or fifth right now. Uh, doing good though. I'm gonna have to start running though. I don't know if this might be the only video I shoot, but I wanted to shoot something. I 
not finish the Shippy 100. Um, yeah, I don't, it just all just happened kind of fast. I was just, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But feeling good after mile 50, you know, 55, just kind of cold, but not real. Five miles to get to, to 60 something. It was very cold. It was very cold. And I was struggling to stay warm even when I went to the aid station, even after I changed clothes. I got back and I was like, I'm done. I can't go on. It's amazing. People just helped me um, recover a little bit dry off some of my stuff and then kind of get back out there and i did just so cold um at the top of that hill it's got to be like negative 20 degrees with wind chill and i'm not I'm not exaggerating like but then you get up to the the ridge and the wind and it's snowing it's so miserable that section um with jeremiah who ran with me it was great talking to him and my jacket's like frozen around it so it's like my hair keeps freezing my jacket's freezing so i come back into that aid station and i'm just like i need to try to warm up i called my dad be like look i'm here in this aid station i'm also dry heaving because my stomach's bothering me people uh help me and they help me kind of set up to take a nap in the back i got like a blanket and taking a nap when my dad came in and everybody else is like you're not gonna quit and i'm like i don't know you know i'll lay here for a little bit see how i feel talking to my dad he's just like you're not gonna get any warmer you're probably dealing with hypothermia i don't know if i make the right decision on these kind of things i was miserable to a point not because i was exhausted or i couldn't run anymore it was just like the cold and then the cold air was the other thing the notes for what i should have done differently now which is like have a good head covering and maybe some goggles really smart to have because my eyebrows were in paint ow my eyebrows i thought i was really prepared for the cold I will be back to run another 100 mile race as soon as possible. And um, this will be another story. It's just not the story I wanted to tell.